Hey guys, Adam here at DirectionTrader.com. Let's do a recap for today and talk about what I see going into tomorrow. Uh, on here, the, over to the right, you're gonna see the daily chart. Over here is a 16, or actually it's a 618 uh, tick chart. So just to let you know, moving forward, what, what we are looking at. So basically, just an anchor chart over here on the left, and then a, uh, a daily chart on the right. So we can break this down and talk about um, price action. Uh, uh, actually, price action for tomorrow, for the most part. Um, here's a Russell. We're going to go through all the indexes, give a good idea. Actually, I'm going to start here with the S&P, ended up here with the Russell. So um, pretty interesting day today here, all in all. As you see, the uh, after Friday's little pop to the upside, Friday wasn't a great trading day for me. I didn't uh, actually get any quality trade, so it was a quiet day for me, uh, simply because the move to the upside came pre-market. I wasn't really trading pre-market, so I didn't take anything on Friday. So this move up here kind of came and gone here. Going into today, we had resistance here on the S&P. Sure enough, them resistances were held. As you see, we tested yesterday or Friday's high to the tick and then came and rolled over from there. So going into tomorrow, anything below the lows from today, I'm on board here to start looking to the short side, right? We closed at the low of the day today, so we had an extremely bearish close, so that would build us more confidence to the short side going into tomorrow. Same thing here with the Dow coming up to resistance as we're coming off of that resistance, closing at the low for the day. And then the NASDAQ uh, more in the middle here, but definitely come off Friday's high, sideways moving average. The one I want to focus here on is going to be that Russell. Okay. Um, I know the Russell here closed up technically two points, but all in all, what I'm paying close attention to are these topping tail candles on the daily chart huge topping tail candles going back to the first time it hit resistance last week and then again on Friday and then again today big topping tail candles is a big sign for us okay it's a big heads up hey guys there's a little bit of a drop here this just keeps on getting rejected so uh, going into tomorrow anything uh, bullish up in here I'm gonna wait until we get through uh, today's highs so I will not be looking for too many long opportunities until we get through today's highs. If it somehow does that, I'm, I'm one-sided. I'll be bullish all the way through. Um, if this thing starts to any type of selling that we get tomorrow, I am absolutely going to be looking short. Okay, So I will have a short bias going into tomorrow's trading um, simply because of the price action, guys. Um, definitely had a nice little sell-off here. If you were to take a Fibonacci from this high to low, a lot of the guys that follow me are Fibonacci traders. You take a Fib from the swing high to swing low, it came back 50% to the tick. So perfectly 50% back, uh, percent back. So if you're looking for further follow-through, that could be some more confirmation for you. But any type of shorting opportunities tomorrow, I'm going to be on board looking for shorts. Uh, anything long, I'm going to need to get above today's highs on these stock index futures. Okay. A uh, quick look at the dollar. Um, inside this sideways range, if you look left, uh, we talk about it a lot in the trading room here. We had this consolidation. Where are we at? right back in that consolidation. So we're sitting here waiting here, kind of uh, no longer active on the Euro um, moving forward until we get outside of that range. You see the same range here in the Euro, same price action as a dollar, just inverse. Wait for us to get out of that range and we'll look to get back active there. Crude oil, something that's been very interesting for us here, guys, as we popped up here, um, kind of getting a divergence. I know we got, let me get rid of this open interest here, guys. It's kind of annoying, that little blue line get rid of that okay we do have a little divergence here if you look down below we have lower highs but we absolutely made higher high in price so we got a little divergence here seeing if we can come back towards these 54s where that last resistance was um, we've had one pop two pop three pop and then this minor little pop here recently so they're getting weaker I've been a lot it's time for this thing to go ahead and roll over so um, Going into tomorrow, again, any type of shorting opportunities, I'll probably be looking. The um, thing is, you got to avoid these uh, these moving averages, these daily 21s and these daily 50s. So going into tomorrow, depending on where we are in respect to today's trading range, watch the previous day's high, watch the previous day's low. If we go ahead and we get outside of that, 
maybe we can, or, or get some negative behavior. Maybe we can get a short. Anything above today's highs, I'm going to be looking long. Anything below today's highs, I'm going to continue to look for retracement, avoiding the 21, and then I'm sure it's not going to hit it by tomorrow, but then the 50 EMAs. Okay, so I am kind of short biased, all in all, but as a day trader, that can change pretty darn quick. We can come in tomorrow, see nothing but bullish behavior, get up above these previous day's highs, start looking long, but pretty much as long as we're not pushing above the highs from today, um, I see a lot of shorts um, in the next couple days here if, if price stays the way it is. So as far as the stock index futures and the uh, crude oil goes, I'm probably going to be looking fairly short here going into tomorrow. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, get a hold of me, adam at directiontrader.com, or um, that's it. So hope you enjoy these videos. If you need to get a hold of me, get a hold of me. If not, I'll see you in tomorrow's recap. Bye-bye for now.